You gotta get into their heads or you can't get better. What's up socials, happy sexy Wednesday. I'm back in the office after an amazing trip to San Diego where we got to do Savvy Sexy Social Live, my second event ever and it was epic. But it got me thinking because there's a very important step I have to take after my events and I wanna make sure that you're thinking about it as well. The energy in the room can be so, so good and I think people generally are going to leave with a great impression of your event if you've done a good job. They certainly did with me. But maybe there are still some things you can improve on and you need to know what those are. You don't want them to get lost as an afterthought, no big deal, if a lot of people are thinking the same thing. So if you're not already familiar, there's a great tool that I use to survey the attendees of my events and that is surveymonkey.com. Seems like all the cool tools have included an ape or monkey in some capacity. Am I wrong? Anyway, so, so important and such a simple tool to use because you could probably just send an email and say, hey, can you answer some questions? Maybe even set up a Google form to do it. But SurveyMonkey makes it so simple, especially if you're doing events with eventbrite.com. So if you register for Savvy Sexy Social Live, you're taken to an Eventbrite page. And SurveyMonkey will actually allow you to create a survey with frequently asked questions that Eventbrite events would ask. Makes building out the survey even easier. As if you couldn't come up with 10 questions on your own, but still, it's nice to get suggestions. And speaking of 10 questions, SurveyMonkey is free to use for up to 10 questions in a survey and up to 100 responses. You can upgrade for more features and get more responses than that if you have way more attendees or people in general that you want to survey, but I just use it for free and it's amazing. Maybe it's not even events that you want to survey people about, but you just want to learn more about your audience. I've done that with SurveyMonkey too just asking people who've subscribed to my list or just come to the blog casually to answer a few questions so I can get to know them better and actually know the kind of people that are interacting with my website and my content. We always say around here, if you want to know what to talk about, what to tweet about, what to create content about, ask your audience. SurveyMonkey.com is a great way to do exactly that, like literally that. Just ask and ask the questions that matter to you for you to learn more about the people that you're trying to make happy with your stuff. Check out surveymonkey.com and don't be afraid of the responses. They are truly meant to help you and they're only gonna make you better whether they're good or bad. That's all for today, socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. I have a free gift for you if you'd like. The five things you need to know before you create your first video blog. Click the link in the purple bar below and you'll be taken to download that, so check it out. And if you're in the New York City area, I just just want to remind you that tickets to Savvy Sexy Social Live will increase in price this weekend. So get in on the early bird by this Friday. I can't wait to see you in the big city to talk video content. Go check that out and I'll be back tomorrow for Social Thursday.